So check this out, GTA 6 source code and videos leaked online after a Rockstar Games hack. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I have some more cyber news and this was an interesting article that I ran across. Um, it's mainly dealing with the game Grand Theft Auto 6 that's supposed to release in the near future. And so Rockstar Games is currently still developing the game, but they actually got hacked and some of the source code as well as uh, videos associated with the video game have been leaked online. And I wanted to cover it in this article, so let's hop right to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, check it out. So this article was released today on September 18th, 2022. And it says GTA 6 source code and videos leaked after Rockstar Games hacked. Um, and so let's check out and see what exactly happened. Uh, and it basically states uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 gameplay video and source code have been leaked after a hacker allegedly breached Rockstar Games Slack server and Confluence Wiki. It says the video and source code were first leaked on GTA forums yesterday, where a threat actor named Teapot Uber Hacker shared a link to a Oreor archive containing 90 stolen videos. It says the videos appear to be created by developers debugging various features in the game, such as camera angles, NPC tracking, and locations in Vice City, which is the new location where the latest version of Grand Theft Auto is going to be released. It's going to we're basically going to be going back to uh, Vice City, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm a big fan of this game, and so this kind of sucks that this happened, but. It also gives us some insight, you know, on what the video game is going to be all about. Uh, even though there's been, you know, talks about it, there have been news press releases about the actual game uh, on the location and all that stuff. But it's kind of good to see this, but it's bad that this person actually did this this way. You know what I'm saying? But it says, in addition, some of the videos contain voiced conversations between between the protagonist and other NPCs. Now, that's one part I, I don't like because it kind of spoils the game as well. You know what I'm saying? And not to talk, just keep talking about the game. But I, I do like Grand Theft Auto. I'm a fan of the actual uh, series. Uh, but it really kind of sucks that they're you know that they actually did this and it's 100 percent illegal you know what i'm saying i don't uh like uh that people are actually hacking for this type of stuff but as you can see this is an image of the orior with all the video files in it but it says the hacker claimed to have stolen gta 5 and 6 source code and assets a gta 6 testing build but it's trying to extort rockstar games to prevent further data from being released now that's crazy right there. I didn't know he was doing that, but he's trying to extort them. Basically, he's saying, hey, pay me some money and I won't release any more files. But uh, it says, however, the threat actor says they are accepting offers over $10,000 for the GTA 5 source code and assets, but are not selling the GTA 6 source code at this time. Oh, okay. So they're only threatening to for the source code of GTA 5 for $10,000. Uh, so, yeah, that's crazy. But it says after forum members uh, show disbelief that the hack was real, the threat actor claimed he was behind the recent cyber attack on Uber. So this actually ties to the Uber hack that I just covered in a previous video, cyber news video. Uh, so this is essentially the same guy. That's crazy. I don't I don't think it. Well, I don't know. Uh, he could have done all this stuff himself, but I'm I'm leaning more to uh, this might be somewhat of a group of hackers or some, you know, more than one person actually, you know, doing this. 
but it says and leak screenshots of the source code from both GTA uh, 5 as well as GTA 6 as further proof. So Rockstar Games have not released a statement or responding to our email about the attack at this time. However, Bloomberg Jason Scraria uh, confirmed the leak is valid or was valid after speaking to sources at Rockstar. So this is his conversation on Twitter, uh, how he did speak to Rockstar. So that lets you know that it is valid. Now it says the leaked videos have since made it onto YouTube and Twitter with Rockstar Gaming issuing DMCA infringement notice and takedown requests to get the videos offline. Yeah. Um, so that's, yeah, that's, that's what they're going to do. I mean, obviously, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, it might be hard to find this stuff, you know what I'm saying? But it says, uh, this video is no longer available due to copyright claims by take down, take two interactive, read a copyright claim by take two interactive, the owner of rockstar games, these takedown demands lend further validity to the fact that the leaked gta 6 videos are real yeah and that's that's one thing about it when when you do do those uh copyright claims that lets them know or let people know the general public know that this is real footage from the actual game now it says however rockstar games efforts come too late as the threat actor has already created a dedicated telegram channel that they are using to leak the stolen gta videos and source code yeah that's that sucks right there but it says for example your threat actor leaked a gta 6 source code file today that is 9500 lines long and appears to be related to executing scripts for various in-game actions okay and it sucks man and um this right here is one of the reasons why i keep trying to talk people into getting into the cybersecurity field because they need people to protect you know these companies out here and i'm sure they're hiring cybersecurity professionals um and so and they're paying you know good amount of good amount of money for these types of positions and so this is something that you want to look into protecting these companies but here's the claims uh to be behind the uber attack so this same guy is this is the claims he says the hacker hasn't shared details on how they gain access to the gta 6 video and source code other than claiming that to have stolen them from rockstar slack and confluence servers the threat actor also claimed to be the same hacker named teapots uh, behind the recent uber cyber attack but beeping computer could not confirm whether the claims are valid so they really don't know at the moment uh at least you know on bleeping computers which is the number one source that i try to use uh when i'm doing my cyber news videos uh, i try to go through on um, bleeping computer because they always have you know good information they put it out pretty quick um but it says however during the cyber attack on uber the threat actor also gained access to the company slack servers and other internal services after performing a social engineering attack on the employee yeah and that's exactly what they did they went straight into those slack servers uh and internal servers but it says wow there are no not enough details about rockstar game games hack the types of servers access and the very public announcement are similar to the Uber hackers tactics. So it's uh, similar. So that's why they're relating it uh, or they're at least, you know, suspecting that it is the same person that did the Uber attack. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, this is was an interesting, you know, hack that's going on you know what i'm saying um i know it's a lot of people excited for gta 6 and to be honest i don't want to be spoiled on the game so i'm not gonna go look for any of these videos uh but it it, it kind of sucks for them you know what i'm saying but it's an opportunity for us tech guys that are out here that want to be white hat uh or get into the cyber security area uh i'm sure a lot of these companies are really going to start hiring or looking for people to um protect their servers you know 100 percent. so it kind of opens up opportunities and i hate to look at it like that but it, it is what it is at the end of the day uh, a lot of these companies they slack on you know the security around 
the servers and the software that they use and they need people to come in and understand how to protect this stuff uh and so that's where we come in as professionals you know in the cybersecurity field i'm not in the cybersecurity field i do other things on my database administrator but i do follow this industry or this side of the industry as well heavily because at one point i wanted to get into cybersecurity, uh but that i just didn't go down that route but like i said this is was super interesting i thought i would share with you guys uh, especially uh, everybody that you know follows my channel uh i definitely appreciate it i know you guys know i i normally talk about linux stuff but i also want to incorporate this news uh as much as i can because it's interesting and also i try to help people get into the tech field and so these are some of the things you need to follow as a tech professional but go on and leave your thoughts down in the comments below and please like, share and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And of course, keep it techy.